Hey guys, I'm Ryan Raymond, and tonight I wanted to talk to you guys about a Chrome extension that's come out recently, and I know a lot of people have been using it, but a lot of people may not have heard of it either. It's called Productor for Merch by Amazon, and it could quite possibly replace Amazon, DS Amazon Quick View, Pretty Merch, Merch Wizard, and maybe a few others. So let's jump in and see how to set it up and what it can do. All right. Um... And you guys, if this is your first time here, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and, um, you know, turn on the notifications so you never miss another live video. Let me pull up the right scene here and we'll transition. Okay, so I'm on the Chrome store. The link to this is in the description if you guys want to try it. Uh, it looks like there's 4,300 people using it already, so that's pretty cool. A lot of you guys have already found this, but let's just add it to Chrome. I've been using it on my laptop for uh, the last two days here, playing with it. So I'm going to come in here and I am going to then, just for um, your guys' info, I'm going to come in and disable a couple of other Chrome extensions, not system, Chrome and preferences. And if you're not sure how to adjust your extensions, just come over here into extensions and I am going to disable DS Amazon quick view and merch wizard and merch buddy. So this is just going to help, um, clear up some of the conflicts that may arise between the, um, uh, extensions while we're using it. So just turning those off and giving everything a refresh there. Okay. So let's hop in here. I'm on my Merch by Amazon dashboard and there we go. So, um, as you heard right there, that was productor kicking in and tracking one of my most recent sales and on the dashboard here, it's going to give you a few different tabs. First one is productor manage. So I just installed it. So it's going to take a few minutes here to uh, sync and pull in the database. See, it's doing a full, um, it's, it's going through and it's storing everything in my browser. There is no uh, third party connection to it. Um, so we're gonna give this a minute to do its analysis, but I'm gonna show you guys what this does on Amazon search. So let's hop over to Amazon. And let's say we were looking for funny Halloween shirts. Okay, so we're gonna give this a moment here to load. And what this is gonna do is it's putting this um, status bar right here where it has sort by BSR, sort by rocket sellers. So sorting by BSR is gonna sort all of the search results on this page by bestseller rank from low bestseller to worst seller. Rocket Sellers filters products without sales and sorts by newest products to show the fastest selling. So what this does is it cleans up the search result to remove shirts that have never sold and it's going to sort them by when they were uploaded and when they sold most recently. So look at this here. Um, you'll come in here and it's now, uh, let me look right here, it's adding in the BSR right here. So that replaces DS Amazon Quick View right there. It puts the BSR in the listing with a nice highlighted here. And um, it brings out the ASIN, the date it was added. And right here, if you're in Merch by Amazon, it will flag this if it's your own product. It's also telling us what the um, keywords are that it's focusing on here. So it's telling us right here, the focus keywords are Halloween, scary, funny, gift, perfect, ghost, couples, costume. Now it's got two other buttons here. This one here lets you copy the product to your clipboard. So if I click copy and we're to open up a notepad, let me do a new note here quick for you guys and hit paste. It puts in, oh, it did not copy it. Let's try that again. Nope, it's not giving me something. So that does appear not to be working. If I click that, it's going to download an Excel file of this. So what kind of file does this give us? All right, so it added it to a Excel file. And if I can zoom this in for you guys, let's go to 200%. It put in the title, bullet points, description, brand, product type, date created if it had it, and its current BSR rank. So you can dump things easily into a spreadsheet. 
Um, the other thing it's going to do is this button right here, it's going to look for all of the words in the listing and check and see if they're indexed. So you can use this on your own listings and see if they're properly being indexed. So look at this here. It is um, checking all of the keywords in the um, listing to see if it's found in the search results. And look at that. So one of the words is made and it's not being found. So I don't know guys, that replaces a lot of functionality of DS Amazon Quick View right there. Um, and if you were to do all sorts of other things, it can um, really, you know, I, I think there's going to be a lot more to this. Um, if I right click and go to um, this option right here, lets you download the product image. Um, so it can do all sorts of things. Let's go back over here to Productor and see if it's uploaded everything. All right. So it's now telling me. I can put on a blur right here to hide information. Um, today's sales, live, how many live products, and it's still doing an analysis here on my uh, laptop where I have this running. It shows exactly how many products have had made their sales, how many of them have reviews, how many of them have um, Amazon Choice, average days until the first sale, with a full sales analysis right here. Um, it's going to look at uh, product sales, status, processing, and um, we're just going to kind of give this a minute to finish updating the database. It also has these other features right here. If you wanted to open 10 multi-product uh, creator tabs, it can do that. It'll just pop them right open for you which um, is a feature that a lot of other tools have. You can use this expiring products tab. If you click expiring products, once it has the database loaded, you can set the settings in here. So if you came to your change settings, uh, show expiring products in 180 days, products expiring in one day, products expiring in 10 days. Okay, so look at this. These are products that are expiring in the next 60 days. So I can come here. I can export all of these, um, the listing information. I can also do an export and it will download the design files for me. This listing right here will automatically open up a new listing um, for all of the products and start re-uploading it. This button will relist all of the products, um, open up a new listing page. You're gonna have to click submit on it. It's not like automated where it's just submitting these for you and it will delete all of the old ones so if you have products that are expiring you can easily remove them and then relist them or if you just want to get rid of them all and you don't want to sort through all of your listings trying to figure out which ones are about to expire you can just click delete all um, I did this earlier today for all of my 30-day listings that were uh, shirts that were within 30 days of expiring and cleared out about 200 listings today and had, I was full and I was like, ah, oh, what can I go through? And I was starting to go through one by one by one and I just clicked this button, everything was gone. Everything that hadn't sold was immediately deleted from the account. So be careful with it. Um, it does get into your account and can make changes, but it went through and deleted every listing. Um, you can have it play a sound with new sales, show uh, an exploration, uh, refresh your product database. You can have it set to do it daily. You can have it auto login, which is a pro feature in um, Pretty Merch. So that uh, you know is one of the features that you pay for in Pretty Merch Pro. Um, you can have it try and prevent your computer from going into standby. You can notify of an auto login. You can find dead products. So it'll look for products that are showing the famous um, dog for Amazon. You can set up a um, multi-product activate configuration settings. So let's say I always want to upload on men, women, youth, and I want the black, uh, I want purple, blue, cranberry, dark heather, heather blue, um, and you can just go through, pick your products. You can set up your standard prices. So if I wanted to list everything at $25.99, I could just have it listed there uh, for the US, uh, $25.99. I'm not saying to do that. I'm just kind of showing this as an example, $25.99. Um, you can put in your premium shirts, $29.99. V-neck shirts, $25.99 or $25. 
let's say I wanted to do tank tops at 1685, 1686 sounds good, sure, why not? And you can set this up for the standard pricing for every market. Um, and if you noticed here, they've pulled out the athletic shirt, which looks like it is a um, key. Uh, people who are writing these extensions have said that um, if you get familiar with the back end, you can see the different types of products that Merch by Amazon has. So this is the second thing I've seen where it shows athletic shirt um, being enabled in there. Uh, research on Amazon pages. You can, uh, this enables and disables the BSR display. So do you want it on or off? Replace product types on relist. So if you're relisting old designs and you had t-shirt in there, so you can um, just change any of the product types. And let's say I wanted to say design or um, graphic or illustration, it will then, while it's relisting, swap those values around. Uh, let's see what else it can do here. So I'm zoomed in quite a bit. Let me zoom back out, see what we're looking at. Okay, so it is still updating the database. Um, sales stats in the table since the last database update. Then you can come over here to Productor Statistics. It has this page and it's looking at your all time sales right here. So this looks a lot like the Pretty Merch BSR, uh, Pretty Merch uh, screen page. Let me just add my blur here quick because I'm not sure what all it's going to so show you guys. So it's got, you can grab your ASINs right here and it has, um, you can select certain columns and export these. Um, it's going to show you what Marcus plates it's in, number of canceled sales, return, sold, revenue, royalties, uh, how many of each type it has sold and in what sizes and colors. Um, you can look for the... I'm not quite sure what merchandise ID is here. Let me just unblur that side there really quick. Okay, so it's um, looking for the uh, seller ID and the design ID for it. On the actions, you can click right here. So you could sort this in all sorts of ways. It filters it and does all sorts of different cool stuff. The other thing it does, I've noticed here on the manage tab, is it adds these buttons here. So we have in a quick edit product. We can copy the product to a clipboard, quickly delete it. We can um, relist them. We can refresh the product in the database on your browser here. We can download the design. We can convert it to a hoodie size. We can convert it to a pop socket size. And it's telling me if it's in the database and it will also start showing the BSR rank right here in your manage tab. Um, let's see here, was that all of them? So it's got some links over here and I've noticed it's got sponsored by Merch Informer here. It wasn't there the other day when it went from 5.80 to 5.83. So it looks like Merch Informer is um, getting involved with this application as well, putting a link in there. So. It's showing down here that it's not an affiliate link. So I'm guessing that they just got paid for it. I don't know for sure. Um, then it has automation. So let's see what the automation add-on is. So it's gonna bring you to Gumroad and it's uh, $15. So let's see what they say this does. I have not used it. Um, ever tried to change prices on Merch by Amazon? With this Chrome extension, you just have to set the price in the extension and click autopilot and open the listings where you want to change the prices. The plugin then goes into each of the fields and changes and saves the changes automatically. Um, that's getting a little bit close to automation and I'm probably not going to use that in my account, um, especially if it does this, saves the changes automatically. That's probably not something I'm gonna wanna do. Um, it's up to you guys what you want to use, but I did want to go through and let you guys know what this was. All right, guys, that is, got the wrong camera here. All right, let me throw on the side one there. All right, so that is the Productor Chrome extension for Merch by Amazon and how it works. Just a quick overview. Let me know what you guys think of it. If you're using it, tell me what your experience has been and what your favorite features are in the comments. And once again, if you haven't yet, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you haven't yet, watch this video right here. It should be my most recent video. And this video right here should be the one Amazon is recommending for you.
All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.